Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scrap Spice City. Happy Wednesday. I hope this finds you all well and staying safe and healthy and, you know, taking care of yourself. Um, give it a couple of, or give it a couple of seconds to see if anybody's going to log on and pull it up on my laptop. I don't know why I do that. I can't ever find anybody's, um, comments when I'm watching it live, but that's not to say that they're not there. Um, so for today's video, I wanted to do something quick and easy and with a theme of retail therapy. I figure we could all use a little bit of that right now. And quick and easy is always good as far as I'm concerned. Um, today we're going to use the best dress bundle. And of course, what better retail therapy is there than buying shoes? Um, I used to buy a lot of shoes before I retired. Uh, I won't even tell you how many pairs of Birkenstocks I have in my closet, but there's quite a few. So I'm also going to tell you a quick little story about this shoe. So I knew when I was preparing for today's video that I was going to use this set and I was definitely going to use the shoe. And I got most of the card ready and done and I stamped the image and colored the shoe and I thought, okay, now let's go cut this out with a die. Well, when I opened up my die set, I didn't see one for the shoe or the lipstick. And I thought, well, that's really weird. You'd think with something that's designed around this, they'd have a die for the shoe. So because I was in a hurry, as usual, I went ahead and I fussy cut this shoe out. In fact, I did it twice. Once for this and once for when for the card I'm going to do for when I do this live. When I sat down to write out all my numbers for the item numbers for what we're using today, I looked at the stamp set and it shows a little, like, it's not shading, but it makes, it makes the item that has a die that matches it stick out and that shoe had one. So I went back and I pulled my die set out. Well, there's two pieces of the cardstock that have the dies attached to it. I did not realize that because my two were stuck together. So like any good crafter, I went back and I stamped and colored another shoe and cut it out with the die. This is the original one that I fussy cut. So you'll see the other one in just a moment. So for all of the information on this, you can always go back to my blog post for today, which is at scrapsbysissy.com. And if you want to take advantage of your own retail therapy with items from today's project, please use this host code and I'll send you not only a thank you card, but if your order is $50 or more, I'll send you a surprise. <laughs> so here's the information. Let's pull this back in so you can keep that. Here's the information for today's card. The card base is in So Saffron and I've cut it at eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. The back layer is Mint Macaron and it's cut at four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And the Best Dress DSP is cut at four inches by three inches. And then the inside layer for Whisper White is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Like I said, this is going to be a quick and easy card. Get our stuff out here today. And I'll show you the difference in a shoe that was cut with the die versus the shoe that was fussy cut by Lori. Which, it wasn't too bad of a job on fussy cutting, I have to say. So, let's get started on this. You're just going to fold your card base in half. And actually... This piece and my two mint macaron pieces and the Whisper White I used for the shoes were scrap pieces. Oh, there's that other one that I fussy cut. So you can see the difference from fussy cutting and the die cut. So we'll save this for something else. The little um, label that I cut out was actually using the... Um, Stitch So Sweetly dies. Um, I like this better for this saying. The one that's in the, the stamps or the die set alone, I didn't quite fit this stamp, this, um, sh too much coffee today. Did not quite fit the stamp that I'm using. 
And I'll show you the dies. I'll show you what I was talking about. So when I opened them originally, this is all I saw because this set was stuck. And see, that shows you I haven't made the purse yet because there's the handle. So there you go. And then we're also going to use some of that real pretty Whisper White polka dot ribbon. And let's see. And we'll be stamping one of those shoes on the inside, and we're going to color it with the Lovely Lips, lovely Lipstick um, Stampin' Blends combo. And we're also going to stamp one on the envelope, because you don't want a naked envelope. Okay, here's what I'm looking for is my snail. So we're just going to glue this down to the mint macaron piece. Aren't those shoes cute? Although I don't think I could wear heels that high anymore. In fact, I know I couldn't. So, but those, I love the Bermuda Bay slip-ons. Not that I have any of those, but then we're going to add a piece of this and we're actually going to tie this around because I have enough ribbon today Cut that. and we're just going to tie it in a knot like so I really like this ribbon <coughs> excuse me I have allergies just so you know Although with the rain we've had, you'd think that would knock down a lot of the pollen. Okay, so you're just going to slide this over all the way to the left. And we'll trim the edges, kind of make it look like a faux bow. And then we'll add it to the card front. And we'll just glue it straight down just like that. Then we'll stamp the sentiment, and of course, life is short, buy the shoes, even if it's Ugg boots these days with the rain we've had. And we'll just stamp that. I guess I should have inked up my stamp, or my ink pad. So I'm going to stamp that right there. Okay. And then let's go ahead and stamp our shoe on the inside. We only have the ink out. Stamp our shoe there. And we'll stamp one on the flap of the envelope. Just like that. And that's all we need the ink pad for. Now we'll color. And we'll go ahead and add this. We'll add that now so I'll get it out of the way. I'm going to add it with dimensionals. And I'm just going to add two dimensionals. And I'm going to stick that right over the ribbon. Like so. Here's our other shoe. We'll add this one on now. And I'm just going to put a dimensional on the top of it so that the bottom of the shoe is already going to be raised on the label so we'll just stick it right over there like that and then i added a couple of the noble peacock rhinestones i just think they're so pretty all those different colors and of course we had to add a little bling so there we go with that and now we'll color the two shoes and we'll be done so you want to make sure you protect your surface. And I'm going to start with the chisel point. Just color the inside and give it a little bit of dimension here. Color the heel. And then I'm going to color just the base here, the tip of the toe. And that's with the dark. Now I'm going to go in with the light. And I'm just going to color. And what better therapy is there than coloring? These blends markers make it so easy. Kind of gives it a little dimension. And if you go outside the lines, that's okay. Remember, this is a handmade card. 
it's from your heart. So just color it in like that. And I'll come up on that heel. Back when I used to wear high heels, I probably would have wore a pair of this color. I like that color. So we'll come in and actually we'll just go ahead, being I have this out already. Color this in. I don't know what the weather is where you are, but it's been raining here for quite a few days. I heard that tomorrow we're supposed to see some sunshine. Just color in. And I'm probably going to have Charlie, oops, we went outside the line. Probably going to have Charlie here for a little while too, being that his school is closed. So that'll be fun. He always likes hanging out with Nana in the studio. I think being on the envelope, I would have done a little nicer job on this, huh? But that's where the blends part of it comes in handy. You just kind of blend it all in. There. And we'll glue this guy in. Where did I put my, here it is. And that's it. We are done. Isn't that a cute, quick and simple card? I really like the way it turned out. The color just kind of brings in some sunshine to our lives this week. I hope you liked today's project. If there's anything you'd like to get, I'll, you can always go to scrapspicesissy.com to get all the links to the product. And please use that host code. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. And thanks for stopping by and spending time with me. Take care. Bye.